married marriage. What are you waiting for if you have not watched Money Men Marriage? Number one on our list is best friend in the world. Like, who is there? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Cecilia. I'm Oka based lifestyle, creative, and movie vlogger. So today we're going to be talking about the top 10 Nollywood YouTube series you should watch if you haven't already watched it. And okay, so if you're the kind of person that wants to know the movies you want to watch or you just want to know the movies that are in rare for you to watch, please stay tuned and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let's watch Let's go! One on my list is Table for Two. I don't know, like, Table for Two didn't really have the rave that I, just, I felt it was supposed to have. So Table for Two was produced by Neptune Tree Studio, the same studio that produced the ever raving YouTube team series on right now. I'm going to talk about that, but that goes to be my number one. So let's go. So Table for Two was produced by Neptune Tree Studio. And so just like a series of, like a series that each episode contained different people that go on the dates. Not about different people that go on the dates, but the most interesting thing about it is that all the dates always end badly. Like the both people they always have one problem or the other. Either okay, this person is stingy or this person is focused on just videoing her content instead of eating and talking to her, her dates, or this person has bad eating manners and all that. So just table table for two is just a series of people going on dates in the restaurant. So I this series happened when the main series of Neptune Tree Studio went on a break. So they just dropped in table for two during the Christmas period, I think about 2021, last year during the last year Christmas period. So it was the series was quite interesting. It was quite interesting. And I just liked I really liked just one episode of it. Like I think episode four or five that goes with the princess and the papa. That two people like that acted one of the most famous series right now. That actually acted that series that days i went on the date in that episode and i was like god they should have just expanded this like okay the princess and papa you know the cinderella stories of lonely wood the cinderella poor girl rich guy school high school thing i was like they should just expand this episode they don't like expand it out but they didn't really expand it and it has been nice because the chemistry between the both of them that's Olive and Romeo. If you actually watch the series I'm talking about, the chemistry between both of them in the table for two, episode four or five, Goodness and Papa was quite nice. Like, it was almost like watching the poor girl and the rich boy, the rich boy fall for the poor girl, like her and all that. And it was just like the Cinderella story that we all want to fall for. It was quite nice. But they didn't really expand on it, they just moved on to the next episode. So, table for two is quite nice. It's a YouTube series that you can watch. It's quite nice, but it just has I think just what has one season, season one. About I think about ten to twelve episodes as what it contains, and each of them was just a series of failed dates. And it was very, very interesting. I'm sure you're going to like it if you check it out. So let's move on to the next one. The next on my list on number nine is the men's club. Like gay gay. Gay gay. See what guys now. The men's club, you know now. When this like when you hear the name the men's club, you're hearing ah. Guys, we're fine, hot guys. That's what the men's club is all about, no money. Anyway, so the men's club is like a YouTube series, it was created by Red TV. So, the men's club is about men, about four guys, four friends in a group in Lagos States, and then their relationship, their life, their work, everything about them, and just how they go. So, I think what actually touched me in the men's club, what First of all, made me feel like weird about watching the men's club was Nide and Shalewa. If you have watched the Skinny Girl in Transit, I'm very sure you know Nide and Shalewa. And in the men and in Skinny Girl in Transit, Shalewa was the sister of Nide's girlfriend, and it was like, oh, Nide was Ayola, Ayola, that is Nide. It was like, oh, Nide was like just. Your coach was calling him brother me day this that and when it comes to the men's club they were dating and I actually watched the men's club after watching skinny girl in transit so it was weird in the beginning like oh brother me there and shaliwa all this and that but actually when you move forward it was actually quite nice although you see some bars rules secrets relationship issues trust issues all these things but it was quite nice. If you like 
bars bones, you know, in suspense on this relationship movies, bars bones things now, as I said. You are going to like the next club. So check out the next club on Red TV. It has just season one to three from now, just three seasons from now. So let's move on to the next movie. And in my number eight, I have five alive girls. The Five Alive Girls is just a new series that just came up that season, which has just one season. And so the two of Five Alive Girls is just, it's like a school series that is actually trying to entertain the white children. So it focused on five girls that are from rich families, actually bully people in the school. And then a new girl that came into the school and was trying to change the trajectory of them bullying because you're trying to bully her and she does she's not trying it's like falling for them for them bullying her or allowing herself to be done children. So that's what the movie is just about. It's also showing you like different characters of children and how parents are training their children. Some people just leave their children to just behave anyhow. Why some people although they see their children are going astray, they're still trying to like correct them. So it just shows you a lot of things. It's for me it's okay. I would say it's all so interesting, like mind blowing for me. It's just there and it's okay. You can watch it and you can check it out. It's exclusive season anyway. They have just season one, but they are in the midst of, as in like, production, pre production of their season two. So for now, they have just season one of their channel. So you can check Five Alive Girls out. So let's move on to the next series. In my number seven, we have Scoot. Gosh, Scoot just came out to me. I think Scoot is not enough to like three months out is an inner tv production school so it's about a new guy that came from the slum to go to a school in a rich guys in a rich people school he got an admission to a scholarship anyway to study in the school of the rich but how he got that scholarship was spied somehow so the principal of the school refused to put in his name on the list of people that are supposed to get the scholarship even though he wasn't he was very intelligent so he actually had to scam the principal in a way and then he added his name by himself so and then he got the scholarship anyway. He was the highest on the ranking on the scholarship test and he got the scholarship. So he got into the school. And then it was just him trying to navigate the school of the rich as him being a scholarship boy. And then the main thing the school was the movie was focused on, this is the one of the movie was focused on was I think about Bush Baby. If you actually go to went to a body screen in Nigeria, I'm very sure you have heard of Bush Baby. So the movie was focused on finding Bush Baby. Why it was educating a little bit on bullying and all that it was just just had one story like each of the story each of the series or the episode we just moving towards finding that bush baby and at the end i think they found something but i don't really think that's a bush baby but it was quite it was quite interesting like we are going to be glued from the beginning of the film because the main lead was there uh, it was giving it bars rules how you want it like guy was dropping line like line was like the guy was finishing people with line, like he just dropped his grabs, he just hit you. Like the guy was something else. I, his mouth was bad, that's just it. I won't say it was bad, but he can just pick up for himself. So you should check out school, you're actually going to enjoy it. Not just season one, but I think they're going to be producing a season two because the season one stop at a cliffhanger is not really complete, it's just hand up somewhere. So I hope they make a season two because I actually love to continue the series. So Check out school of internet TV. So see you. Let's check out the next series. Number six, you have class and class. Are you there? Class and class. So class and class is just like it's also a school, a teen school series where a poor girl still enters into the school of rich people on a scholarship. And it's still like her navigating her life in the school. But this time around, the bullying in this series was not prominent because most of the school series of a new girl coming into a big school is almost focused on bullying, bullying but it's not really focused on bullying because i show you the life of the rich how they live and also the life of the poor and they show you how the relationship go it was also quite educative some of the series were educating but the series and an episode where they talked about the tribe tribalism like Igbo, yoruba and civil war war and all that they actually talked about some things that actually made sense and was quite educative so so it's okay. Class and class was nice. Like so it's okay. I won't really push it like at a certain level of some setting scene a certain scene and tier series I'm watching. But class and class was nice. And I watched to the end and they have like 
they are in the pre-production level of their season two. So for right now, we just have season one of Class at Class, and it's nice. You can check it out. I'm actually going to like it. So let's move on to our next series. And number five on the list, we have Year for You. A Year for You is a youth career production. It just and newly like I don't even think Year for You has been up to like two months. I say airing, but the film is nice. There's something about a young girl who her whose mother abandoned. Should I say abandon? Abandon the father anyway to marry the father's brother. And then the father and the way the father was treating the girl. I think I'll put that as a misplaced anger because he was placing the anger he had on his wife abandoning him on his child. And then a new neighbor that came in and how their relationship was going. So the movie is actually nice, it's quite nice. Because okay, the father was treating the daughter quite badly, but there was a new neighbor, a guy, a young guy that came in at the end, actually became friends and they were just showing them navigating life in the compound, people different house and how the life of the girl was going, how her father's life was going, how the life of the people that were living in the compound, like the gate man and everybody was just going. And there were some certain secrets that were just busting out like just came coming out one by one. The movie is interesting. Like if you start watching here for you, you are actually going to be hooked on it because it's quite like the storyline goal is going quite well. So I actually do enjoy the series. I don't want to drop any spoilers for you, but it was like it's very nice. So just check it out. If you're a person that likes watching children in a single home or relationship issues or children like being friends and Helping yourself with the friendship and all that, I'm actually going to like it for you for it's quite interesting. Is I think it's a root canary production, but it's uploaded on a YouTube channel called New Hollywood Movies. Or you can just type here for you, I'm going to see that they have a season one that just completed, and then the season two, episode one, is out for now. It's quite interesting. Check out here for you, you will regret it. So let's move on to our next. Money Men Marriage. What are you waiting for if you have not watched Money Men Marriage? Like when you married is the eat, like okay. So it talks about a girl that came that does a new a girl that moved in or relocated recently to Lagos and then the friends that she was she's living with. So she relocated recently to Lagos and she was spot in a friend's house that was living with like so other people. So there were like four four girls and it's talking about their life in Lagos, the relationship, like if you like to see relationship bars rules and Lagos relationship and the madness i'm going to love money men married like it was giving like money men married was giving it was quite very very dim it was very nice so money men married is about a girl that relocated to Lagos and her life with her friends or her housemates and relationship when they focus on relationship the relationship issues they're having relationship life how they navigate their relationship what happens in relationship and all that that's just what this was mainly focused on as well as just focused a little bit on career but mainly just focused on relationship but if you're a person i like watching movies that focus on relationship learning about relationships relationship issues and all that you're actually going to love money men marriage both a girl that is getting married to someone that she doesn't really like or a girl that's seen a boyfriend anyhow or someone that is in a situation or a relationship with somebody that she's not sure of or someone that is quite has a lot of secrets regarding her relationship with the open sex that she doesn't probably say that she doesn't want her fiance to know about and all that it was just giving so it's giving me the relationship aspect and it was very nice like and it also has one season and i'm having a real really issue with them because i don't know why they still haven't brought out the season two or talked about creating a season two because the season one didn't really end well because the main actor actress was a writer so she's a blogger and she has a blog and on that blog she was writing about her roommates and she was writing about their relationship issues on the blog she was not putting in their name but she was writing about them and the thing was that the roommates has never had the opportunity to actually read what it was about so let's say the end of the movie where one of the one of the girls the main person actually read what she wrote so and I, I don't know what's going to happen there that was just the cliffhanger where they left us on and i would actually really love them to give a season two but if you're not watching season one watch and watch it you're going to love it money made marriage is the name so let's move on to the next series and number three on our list to have our best friends with they did so to be very honest with you 
I'll be sure that you do really really get it in my head. I've been seeing it on YouTube and I've not watched it. See, one of my favorite YouTubers, Mary Collins. So I was, I recently, I recently came across her channel and then I fell in love with her channel. So as I was watching through her channel, I totally didn't notice that she acted in our best friend's wedding because she had like a video where she talked, about, where she was showing you behind the scenes of creating, of acting in the movie or, or their photo shoot and all that. So I was actually tempted to actually go watch our best friend's wedding. And this was nice. Like it was nice. Like, I don't know why people actually have a lot of issues. That relationship actually does entail a lot of things. Because our best friend when they progressed, like, okay, I didn't really watch this season more. But I watched this season two and actually got a hang of almost of everything I, I would have gotten from this season one. So if the two people that are married, one of them actually has a child outside of that person, and his wife does not know. The child is almost like about five years. And his wife does not know. And then somebody else actually got married to someone and then her husband died and then the ex-boyfriend that likes her, they actually tried to go into a relationship but I don't even know what they are playing at. And the ex-boyfriend and the guy that wants to go in a relationship with her is already dating her assistant. I, as in, the relationship issues were just sneaking out one by one. Like, what the heck? Why can't relationship just be straightforward? And the relationship was just having small, small, simple things and all that. And then the married man actually cheated on her husband. Let's not go there. Let me not drop any spoilers. Our best friends, when you're actually going to enjoy it, if you actually do watch it. So check out our best friends, when you're going to enjoy it. And I, I'm going to give a special shout out to my favorite YouTube, my very colleagues. Actually, she was like, keep in that movie, like, very rude, just. So like I, I don't care per se, she doesn't care about your relationship anymore. She's just focusing on herself and her child and all that. Just watch our best friends and you're going to love it. So let's move on to the next series. I'm proud of you. Our best friends wedding has two seasons, season one and season two. I don't know if they're giving a season three yet. I'm not sure, I can't tell. But they do give a season three. I would really love it for me, call it. Sorry. For me, call it actually get a boyfriend in season three. I prefer to actually go down well. So let's move on to the next series. And number two on my list is Skinny Girl in Transit. Gay gay. Who doesn't know Skinny Girl in Transit? And I'm actually quite surprised that some people don't know Skinny Girl in Transit. Like there was a person someone I was talking to, I was asking her, do you know Skinny Girl in Transit in YouTube series? So like people are Skinny Girl in Transit. Like Skinny Girl in Transit, the movie was making sense. I, I actually actually used to go to you watch it on YouTube. Like I just feel like ah. Yeah, I want to. I want to see me day again. I want to see my me day. I want me day shower. We are showing the day for of us. And I'll just go back to YouTube to go watch Skinny Girl in Transit. So Skinny Girl in Transit is about a girl who is plus size and is actually trying to feels like she has to reduce her weight to actually get recognition of from certain things and all that. She's actually a very badass radio presenter or a or a, 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 a P and all that. The movie is nice. It talks about her life, navigating her life relationship getting married just what i would not tell you just watch skinny girl in transit and the thing is that you want to get your own media when you are done watching skinny girl in transit like the male who lived in skinny girl in transit ayala ayala like the guy was i mean he just like made love so nice like he made love actually quite nice like somebody that really loves you maybe so nice to actually have someone love you not what was annoying me into in some certain places but it's what it is. It was not like that. I felt it was going to be a problem. Maybe that's how our character is supposed to be. Somehow cold, somehow calm. But it was the day that was giving me the romantic vibe in the skinny girl in transit. Because and sometimes I would be like, it seems like Midi actually does like this girl more than she likes him. So I think there was a past where she cheated on not really cheated on him. Where she kissed someone. I'm not say she cheated, those not really cheated on him anyway. And they were having a little issues and actually she was actually crying and begging and crying and I was like, okay. Maybe it seems like she actually does like the male lead as much as he likes her, but speaking in transit is a crime. And of course, Bisola was there, so Bisola was just giving us bad moods, like all these funny vibes. And then I actually liked how Bisola's relationship ended. They also talked about Bisola, the second the supporting character, the best friend of the male the female lead. We really showed how our relationship went, how our relationship moved, and talked about it was quite educating on things of relationship. 
talks about things of relationships, single mother, good, getting pregnant, miscarriage. He talked about a lot of things in relationship, even as in violence in relationship. I will now call it domestic violence. A guy beating up his girlfriend. It's just a lot of things that happen in relationship and life around us. And then their mother was a vibe. Because it was now. She was a vibe. It was they're going to just kill the transit. It has season one to six as of right now, but they are in the pre-production stage of season seven. And I can't wait for it to drop. I just can't wait for it to drop. Because I was like, okay, maybe it was it actually does did touch on some certain news and then it ended. And if that just ended like that, so I've been okay. But if they still want to progress it, who am I to say you? I want to see Timini and Sharon Oraja come together in a relationship. I want to see how Tiwa's life move forward. I want to see how Miss Allah's life and relationship moves forward. They are going to just kill again in transit. So move on to Indani TV and check out Skin again in transit. That is the one to see. And you won't regret it. Why are you still waiting for this season? Let's move on to the next series. Number one on our list is best friend in the world. Like, who goes there? Best friend in the world, you have not had a best friend in the world. Are you serious? Seriously? Like, seriously? Are you watching too? Best friend in the world, like one of number one trending YouTube series of right now. Like, it started like about four years ago, just with like one episode, the new girl, and then it just blew up, and then they took it up and made it a series. And it is very educating, very interesting. Like, each, each episode just brings out something, just captivates you with something. And so, it talks about a um, different class of people, like about, I think, Main characters about main cast about eight or nine, can't really count in a school and how they navigate their friendship, their relationship, and life as a teenager. As of the second time when they were in SS2, and as of right now, they are in SS3. So, he's talking about how they navigate their life as friends, how they navigate life in general, their grades, education, friendship, relationship, family life, finances. Character wise, personality, and all that is very interesting. This way, we see people like the Olive, you have, I'm very sure you have heard of them Olive, Adam, Romeo, Iris. And then I think recently, someone called Evelyn. There's Archie, there's Esther. The movie is actually quite nice, it's very, very nice. So I'm actually going to recommend like if I'm so next question but I'm giving it 10 over 10. Like I'm never giving anything from this. The movie is very, very interesting. What you are watching, you will feel like watching a teen series. Like it's so nice. And so right now, I don't they don't I don't know how to put in the season for it, like put it in a season because it actually came with um SS2 first term, first term, second term, third term, senior year. So I don't really say it's in a season. They're not really like 10 by 10. That's how they're putting it. But as of right now, they're in their senior year. So waiting for it. I can't wait for the next season to come out. And actually this does episode comes out every two weeks on I think a Friday. Every two weeks on a Friday. So as of right now, the last episode is senior year episode 15 or 16. And I can't wait for the next episode. Like I just can't wait for it. If you start watching the rest of the world, I'm very sure you're going to be like me. You won't be able to wait for the next episode. So check them out. They, it was created by Neptune Tree Studio. The same studio that created Table for Two. But the best one in the world is like one of their very, very amazing high series right now. So check them out. You're actually going to enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed this recommendation that I'm giving. And these are my top 10 YouTube movie series for right now. And if you love something like this, just comment below and let me know that you love recommendations. And I'm going to be giving them to you back to back. And if you have watched any of these series that I've recommended right now, please let's talk in the comment section. Tell me which of the series you have watched. Tell me which series is your best series if you have watched a lot of them. And tell me which one you just got to know about right now. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!